Hey, good morning, Ty. Uh, I remember last time you were saying that you were really hoping to get together with the team for some sort of event. Uh, I don't know if it was a dinner or something else, but what were you able to to do, and uh, kind of what were your what were your um, what were your hopes to get across to the guys? Oh, we did have a little session, but I don't know if I can talk about it. You have to have to ask Lawrence first. <laughs> but um, we did have a session. It was it was pretty. It was it was fun actually. Um, didn't know how it would go, but um, all the guys liked it. Um, I liked it. The coaching staff um, they loved it as well. So um, it was a nice little thing we had. So I don't know if I can discuss it out loud. <laughs> Let's ask it this way: When you were with Cleveland, what sort of uh, preseason gatherings did you did you hold? Uh, we did all kinds of different things. Um, I don't know, we did a lot of stuff, but you know, then it wasn't. You know, we didn't have the have COVID going on, so it's a little different. So you can get out and tell guys we're gonna go to practice and you know get on a bus and go to different places and things like that. So I was a little different now with the circumstances. For sure. Thanks, Ty. Ohm, you can go ahead. Hey, Ty, just to piggyback off that, I know you can't talk about what you guys did, but can you talk about maybe what your message was for the season to, to your team? Um, just getting to know each other. I think um, personally, you know, off the court, just um, things you don't know about each other that you would find interesting um, about one another and about a different person. And then after we did that, we kind of shared it amongst the group. So it was, it was some things that guys had no idea about other guys, and it was – it was something that, you know, it was, it was very personal. Well, what was the most interesting thing you found out or discovered about one of your players? I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ty. Yes, sir. Sabrina? Ty, uh, um, I'm curious, with Marcus out, are you still planning on having Nick Batum in the starting lineup at the four, or are you considering other options there to still keep experimenting? Uh, Nick Batum. Any reason for that? Um, any reason for it? Yeah. Um, well, no, I mean, he's a 6'4 veteran. I mean, 6'9 veteran who can play um, the four, the three, and a little bit of two as well. Um, a great pass, a great ball handler. He just adds another dimension to our team for a guy who can do a pass and shoot. And um, he can guard three or four different positions. So um, that's what I think going into it. Thanks. We'll move over to Corey. Hey, Coach Lou, how are you? Good, how you doing? Uh, what, what players you would say that have stepped up from a leadership role that is pretty much unexpected from you? Unexpected? Yes. Um, I wouldn't say unexpected, but I think um, Lou has done a great job with just the way he's approached camp. Um, Pat Bailey has been great. Um, PG has been really good, you know, and just, you know, stepped up taking the ownership of, of leadership. So I think, you know, uh, with a veteran team that we have, you know, a lot of guys, you know, we're doing it by committee. And um, Serge has been a voice, even though he's new, he's been a great great for us as well. So we just kind of do it by committee, just trying to do the right thing and um, not have no one solve one person, let's all do it for the right thing. And we'll go over to Miriam. Hey, Ty, hope you're well. Um, are you going to watch uh, Kawhi on Kimmel tonight? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was coming home, but I might. I'm just messing. I'm not sure. I didn't know he was coming home. So uh, thanks for telling me that. There you go. And I guess just yeah, also. He's, uh, he's, he's actually going on to, to be interviewed. That's what that's what it says on Jimmy Kimmel's website. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that is a, like that's, I mean, Kawhi's not a guy who does a lot of that. Like, right. <laughs> right? Yeah, so that, that's good. Uh, I definitely will tune in and try to see what, he, what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think you might say? Uh, who knows? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> but I'm interested. In, I'm interested to see though. All right, on. And then I guess obviously, like for, for a guy like Kawhi or PG or, or you, just you know, a second year in a place, you know, you have a different level of familiarity. Do, do you see that showing with with these players who who've been here or going into year two? I'm sorry, you said see that what? Do, do you see like a, a lower, another level of like kind of comfort and familiarity with players and going yeah, into? Yeah, I, I think so. You know, PG and Kawhi, you know, just learning how to play with each other, not having to defer and um, making each other better as, as well as making their teammates better. But you do see a sense of comfort, you know, um, with guys now in their second year and being around guys um, and playing with guys more. And like I said, it's, it's big for us in training camp because, you know, we have everybody on the floor and healthy um, to start the season. So um, it's been good for us and we just got to continue to keep building every day. Cool. Thank you.